beautiful waterfront lake here. Whew. Well, this was a tough start. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today, off to Black Rock Castle. There are so many amazing places to visit while I'm in Cork, and I only have so much time off while I'm here. I'll be working from here as well, so today I'm doing Black Rock Castle because it's one of the top sites that I wanted to see. Another honorable mention would be Kinsale. I'm gonna actually see if I can do that on a weekday, TBD, but it's a little bit tricky. I'm observing with the buses, multiple changeovers. They take like an hour, some of them, an hour between each bus. So something to note, it can be a while, but could be worse. At least we can get around. So the path today is two buses. I think about half an hour of walking between going to this bus stop, between the two, and then the last walk to get to Black Rock Castle. It's a little bit tricky to get to, but we'll make it work. So excited to check it out. I've heard it's a great one. Let's do it. Take a look across the way at the Holy Trinity Church as I finish the first leg, walk towards the second bus so that I can catch the next ride. Nice views, you gotta appreciate that at least. Walking across from the River Lee on this particular walk here. Really, really nice spot. Nice to be able to look out at the water as we make this trek. Beautiful viewpoint perspective here. Cork College of Commerce back there. Yeah, the architecture is really nice. So besides being slightly chilly, it is really a nice sightseeing stroll as well. And here's the spot where we're crossing the waterway, crossing the bridge over towards the next bus. I do have to say, I think Dublin bus is pretty much the clear winner here in terms of like cleanliness and services. You know, the Wi-Fi can be hit or miss or the navigation can be hit or miss here on the bus errand, but it's not bad. It does the job and still have to appreciate the fact that you can sometimes plug in your phone, sometimes get Wi-Fi and it gets you where you need to go. Although it can be a long wait sometimes too. If you take a look around my latest bus, this one looks, I don't know, more luxurious, more comfortable seats, but there's no outlets or anything. So interesting observation here. Seems like the buses can really vary. That being said, the second leg here today is a lot cleaner of a bus right now. And I feel like this one has the views to be seen. If you look at the beautiful river beneath us, you can see these downtown type buildings as we're making our way down to Black Rock. And massive river view on the opposite side there. It's nice that I've got pretty much my own bus here at least on the top row, leaving the river front now, but nice to be able to peek out there for a bit. Now arrived at our destination, our bus stop, not far from the Ringmachen pitch here. It's a soccer field, I believe, referred to as a pitch here. But making our way down to Black Rock, I'm hoping they've got some food options. I know they have a cafe, but it seemed like it was pretty booked up too. So we'll have to see if that's open or if they have other options. I did have my scone for breakfast, which was all right, you know, for 40 cents. I'm still enjoying those. <laughs> Making our way down to that castle now. Excited for the sightseeing ahead. It's a little bit later of a day than I would have liked to start at, but we'll make it work. Now it's worth noting again, as I mentioned, the buses being hourly, depending upon where you're going, can make it trickier too. So for example, you know, I was up at nine, ready to go, but if I didn't make the 915 bus, which I obviously didn't, one of the next options for me would have been 1015, depending upon which bus you're taking. So the routes I was looking at today all seem to have one leg or the other running every hour instead of every half hour or 20 minutes or 15 minutes. So I actually tried to make things work and adjust it as I went. So like recalculated when I got to Cork and wound up getting on a bus there that wasn't exactly the original one I was gonna get on, but did the job. Actually, it was probably better because it arrived right when I needed it, but yeah, worked out, but you just kinda gotta go with the directions and figure things out there, so. Yeah, you know, as much as I'm like, okay, it's 9 a.m., let's make our way between the actual bus rides themselves and switching and waiting and walking and all of that, the time can add up for sure. That being said, I'm still out here before noon. I would like to get some lunch and I've got a good few hours, I think, in the afternoon here to be able to see some stuff too. My walk here to Black Rock is kind of sort of along the lake. It's over there. I'm walking along the sidewalk here, which does make for a nice sort of distant scenic view. You can see some shipping containers out there as well, but I also wonder if that makes it that much windier and cooler. I wanna get that hat back on soon here, but I figured I'd get there first. I don't know, you know, I'm trying to find the right temperature, but gloves <laughs> definitely help. An even better view of the water here then, and I'll even walk out this way. 
I think to get the best view and maybe some pictures. Really, really interesting kind of lake going on over here. The close part almost looks like, like a, what is it, mossy marsh kind of arrangement. And then further off, you've got the, uh, the open water and the shipping containers back there. Really cool to see. And as we're walking this way, kind of out of the blue here for me, a boom, it's a castle. Check it out, Black Rock Castle up ahead. Beautiful to see. Does not seem quite anywhere near as touristy as the Blarney, but I've heard it is the, the beautiful one, the genuine, I think, upkept one, less of a ruin. At least that's what I was advised. So we'll step over there, see what it's all about. It does not seem like from here, it's got that whole like little city around it. So I'm not so sure about food options and all of that, but there's probably something going on around here. If nothing else, we got snacks. It seems a lot smaller from here than Blarney does. Maybe because I'm just not that close yet, but this will be interesting to check out for sure. And cool to see as we make our way over some of the activities to see in the area. Nice to see that they have this little, I'm not sure what you'd call it, like little plug for other stuff. Uh, Cove is one I've heard that I should check out, the Titanic Museum and such. It's going to be a question of timing here for sure. We'll see what we can get done. And there it is. Let's check it out. And the Black Rock Castle Observatory 10 to 5 also reminds me that I couldn't have gotten here all that much earlier anyways. Maybe an hour earlier, but yeah, there's still a good chunk of day ahead, which is nice. And I'm not sure how much there will be to see here as well. We'll figure it out as we go, but lots of activities in the area. If this one is short-lived, and I'm still thinking about the food right here as well. So here is a look at the menu. If you're looking at the lunch spot, you got a bunch of different sandwich options, main courses, and a whole lot more. And then this looks like a castle for sure. Oh, look at that little walking village type space here to check out too. I like it. Welcome to this viewing area here. Looks like you've got indoor and outdoor seating for this restaurant. We've got a reception and such over this way. The observatory is open. I'm not sure if it's through there. You got some NASA stuff and Mars. That's cool. Let's maybe step inside here and see what the deal is. One language uh, yeah. we choose, or Spanish or oh, French. Okay. So we, we speak everything actually. That's the universe. Space. The Black Rock Frontier. Really, really cool. So we are in the Black Rock Observatory, going through the museum here, or not, I guess not a museum, but it's a guided tour, which is currently the way, the only way to see the Black Rock Castle through the observatory and through this guided tour. And really, really cool for this initial portion, the self-guided, just looking through all these different icons. You can obviously see the evolution of beings, creatures, over millions of years, from prehistoric to the evolution of more mammals and humans and apes. Really, really cool exhibit so far. Again, just getting started, but there will definitely be a space focus and a sciency focus, in case you're wondering. Really cool to learn the history of the castle here from the lower portion, the fort built in the early days, and then the 1600s, another part built on. They've reiterated it many times, sounds like. Most recent version, I think, was 1800s, but really, really cool to get a bit of that history here at the photo. And now, making our way up the stairs. Apparently it used to be a bar, restaurant, business, office center, lots of stuff, so. These are cool stones. It's actually a lot easier than the, um, than Blarney to get up. Take a look around from the top of the castle here. Beautiful view. All the way around us, you get a 360 degree perspective. You can see the river, the ocean behind us where apparently they used to have pirates and invaders. All kinds of cool information. And it looks like there's still plenty of use case for that water with the shipping containers as well. Overall, really, really cool spot. And we shall see inside the telescope briefly in a moment. Let me take a look in here. Thank you. Nice. Ah. Um, if you've done your little bit of gene some geology or any kind of geology, you'll know that they are real and they are British. Uh, but they were decommissioned long before they ever came to the castle. They came here in the 1800s as party pieces for the big banquets that were hosted here at the castle because it looked cool to have cannons in your garden. Mm. Remember that for the next time you have a birthday party. <laughs> uh, so there's three cannons here, six soldiers. The soldiers were miserable. So they'd have been cold because you can feel down here it's pretty cold, right? Mm. It gets even colder during the night time, I can tell you that. It was damp. It was so damp, in fact, they had to build the floor sloped. That was done on purpose. It takes eight minutes. It was eight light minutes away, it hits our atmosphere, and then it kind of scatters and breaks up and partially absorbs. And Serious? That's a very bright star. 
This is where we get Orion the Hunter. Nice. Now, I don't know if any of you guys believe in your astrology or whether being a Taurus makes you uh, stubborn or that kind of thing. But even if you don't believe in that kind of thing, uh, constellations are quite useful. These are in the night sky. So here he goes, Hercules. Now, to get a full view of the night sky that the ancient Greeks would have seen, we're going to have to get a little bit darker because the sky I'm showing you here is the sky you would see in Cork City. And if we look in this direction, not visible in Ireland at the moment, here we find our galactic centre. And uh, just about here, I can't bring it up on the software, but it is around here, we have an object called Sagittarius A star. So here she is, about double the size of the Milky Way, and we estimate there to be about a trillion or so stars in that galaxy. And I always make sure to say that now because Last summer I had a little boy come in with his family, he was very excited about space. And my personal favourite constellation, which would be Perseus, for getting pictures of the moon itself. Uh, when you're looking at the moon, you don't actually want a full moon, because when the moon is full, it's too bright for you to get the details. The moment, Venus very visible. When it's in the night sky, it is the second most uh, brightest object. Wow, really, really cool experience there. The Black Rock Castle Observatory, a guided tour. Again, mostly, if not all about, well, it's mostly about space. But we did see some history there about the castle itself. Saw the physical infrastructure, basement and all that. And this is just such a beautiful view. We learned that Cork is like, I think Corkish or something in Irish is, in Ireland, what Gaelic is, something along the lines of, of marshland. So. They built this on a marshland. Really, really cool. Again, so much history, so much space. And that last exhibit, were really, really cool there to see the planetarium. A beautiful place all around us here. And pretty quick tour, I must admit as well. So next question, the next stop, is to determine where we're off to next. I think we got some more time here today to enjoy it. Nice little viewing section out here to just look out at the water. And then we'll be on our way. Really, really cool, again, to check out this exhibit here, Black Rock Castle Observatory. It was definitely a quicker one than I was expecting on the flip side. Considering Blarney yesterday, I would have imagined maybe we'd walk through, see more architecture, but really amazing to see here too. They did an excellent job on that observatory. I wouldn't say I'm a huge space person, but especially that last segment there where they showed us that screen and what things look like up in space. That was really engaging, entertaining. It was just a great group all around too. Very, very friendly and glad I had a chance to check it out. Now, question is, what can we squeeze in? I was looking at Cove but Cove actually seems a little bit trickier to get to from here than I would have thought. You know, Cove looks like it's closer of our options, but I'm actually looking at Kinsale, and Kinsale's in the opposite direction, but yet there's just a straightaway bus. I will have to wait on that bus for a while, but seems pretty considering, pretty efficient to get me down to that pretty far corner of the island. If you take a look at the map here in front of me, not sure how well you can see it, we'll go back to that bus we were just on, and once we're in the center of the city, bus straight down to Kinsale. I think that would be a great one today, especially considering so many people have told me I need to check out Kinsale, and I want to get it done, but I'm not sure in terms of those weekdays how much time I'll have. This might be my last full day to really enjoy and check out all the fun stuff, so making our way down to Kinsale now, hopefully pretty efficient, quick trip to get there, and then we got to get some food still as well, so hopefully we can find something food-wise there. To give you a little bit more thoughts on the castles and how I compare them, I did really enjoy this one. It was a nice time, but if you were asking me to decide between this one and Blarney, I mean, I felt like Blarney had so much to see, so much to do, and it was that experience of kissing the stone. It's interesting because I did hear from some locals, including my Airbnb host and others, that Black Rock was more of a real castle, but didn't really get a chance to see at least any castle aspects. Well, the basement, we got to see that kind of crypt space, which was cool. But I think the cooler crypt that I saw was in the basement of the Christ Church Cathedral. So really glad I had a chance to see Blarney. I mean, if, if you made, if you said, hey, you have to pick one, or what are we going to prioritize on our trip? I would pick Blarney. But if you're looking for something quick, and especially if you're in this area, Black Rock, I would do that as well. There is so much to see and do in Ireland, and so I'm like, okay. You also have to consider transportation. How are you getting around? Is this too far out of the way for you? for this fairly brief tour. It all depends on your constraints and your plans, but if you love space, definitely worth checking that one out too.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kinsale, the town of Kinsale here in Ireland. I'm pretty sure we're still in County Cork. Look at the beautiful sights and scenery around us. We're right here on the water. We've got the pier down that way, which is awesome. I think it's one of the southernmost cities, which is nice. So we'll be able to see what that waterfront looks like. So many people told me I should check out this part of town, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to see here. But amazing bus ride on the way down as well. Beautiful views. You had all kinds of farmlands, open space, you know, land to be able to spread out. And you had a few homes out there as well, but yeah, lots of farming going on. Really cool spot. Right here in front of us, the pier. Beautiful perspective. I've not really eaten today, so we're gonna start us off with some food here. As a dinos, let's give it a shot. There it is, dinos, fish and chips, right off of the, uh, the main pier here. May as well drop in, get some food, and start our adventure. Hey, good, thanks, how are you? Table for one? Yes. Yeah, just give us one moment. There Thank you. Go. I went ahead and ordered my food, and I have a beautiful view of the outdoors from here. I'm looking into activities at the same time, looking at Charles Fort, but I'm not sure how late they'll be open. I'll probably be able to make that happen. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. But really, really cool spot, excited for this food. Rehydrating, which I need, and we'll be on our way. Take a look at this delicious looking food here. Oh my gosh, we got the fries, the fish and chips right there. But then I got a side of onion rings. Did I take on too much food? We'll find out. Looks delicious though, one giant piece of fish there. We'll dig in and let you know what we think. Just left Dino's Fish and Chips shop and not bad, I must say, I enjoyed the fish and chips. It was that one giant piece of fish which made it a lot harder to pick up, especially after I poured the lemon juice on it. It was uh, falling all over the place. It was a good one though, I must say. Nice fish. I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite. I probably, it's Harry Potter is <laughs> probably still one of my favorites. I hate to say. But it was very good. I could see myself going back. And I just realized as I was leaving, it looks like, they have like a to-go window next door. So, yeah, I probably should have done that route because I'm kind of now rushing to make my next destination. And you're wondering, Dave, where are you rushing off to in this beautiful city of Kinsale? Well, well. Let me tell you where I'm going. I'm trying to get to the Charles Fort. Charles Fort is about a 30 minute walk from here and it really doesn't seem like they have a whole bunch of transportation options to be out here, quite honest, but it is a beautiful and very visually appealing city. And uh, the fort is supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be one of the sites to see. Iconic sites out here, so we'll see if we can make that happen. Now, I think they close at five. It's like 3.30ish now. And again, a 30 minute walk, so hopefully we'll be all right. My walk to the Charles Fort is along this beautiful waterfront lake here. On our right, you can see, lovely place. Nice to be able to walk along here and enjoy the beautiful town, the peaceful sights as we make our way to that destination. Now, something to note out here is it does seem a lot easier to get around with a car. Doesn't really seem like there's a whole bunch of uh, public transportation. And it's a little bit tricky on sidewalks too. Oh, that's not the right way. I'm going the wrong way. Almost messed that up, that would have been bad. There's not a lot of options when it comes to public transportation out here. Once you're in the town, once you get here, you're looking at have your own rental car <laughs> walking, or I don't know if they have really taxis or anything. This looks like an interesting route, to say the least, to where I'm headed now. Oh yes, I was told it's like a 40 minute walk upwards, uphill to Charles Fort. It's worth noting as well, I'm weighted down with bags and such. If you're thinking about making this trek, maybe do it on a bag-free day, duty-free day, but we gonna make it happen. We'll see how I survive. And look at this trail. Not a smooth one, but that is A-OK -okay because we will make it work. Whew. Well, this was a tough start almost through this first uphill stretch here. As you can see, it goes on for a while, but I think it's leveling off. I had for a moment, give my calves a break while we continue. <laughs> Here you go, much more neighborhood style feel. That works, right, walking on flat ground? But then we have no sidewalks. Seems to be a theme out here. Look at this, a beautiful sight line on my right, down at the water down there, those cliffs. Beautiful spot, very nice to see. We're making our way onwards for now, but nice to see when passing by. Private neighborhood seems like. And again, besides the lack of sidewalks, tight roads up here, seems like a leisurely stroll. A lot nicer than that hill we were working on earlier. Take a look at this beautiful view from on our way up here, kind of past this neighborhood, a little parking area for people to enjoy it. Lake view beneath us, the buildings down there. What 
a nice spot to take a look at here. Can sail. Beautiful, beautiful perspective. I'd say, you know, come back, spend a lot of time here, and enjoy the sights as just a relaxing stroll or relaxing drive, neighborhood sort of day. And over that way, I think we might have an eye on our destination, Charles Fort, across the waterfront here. Beautiful. Let's get over there. Looks downhill too, so I like that. Here's a sign to let us know we're on track. Charles Fort for pedestrians this way. It also says 10% decline, if you can't tell, and it looks like maybe the lanes merge. So you know, we'll see how that goes here, but walking downwards now, not really much of a walkway, pedestrian walkway for us on either side, but I'm squeezing in where I can. Down this way on my right, a silly walking tour. Uh, I'm not sure if that gets me the way where I'm going. It looks like those people are turning right. And I need to go this way, so maybe I can do the silly walking tour on the way back. I thought I was already doing the silly walking tour, so I guess not, but uh, I heard that's a nice way to get there, so yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe that's just a separate walking path. Looks like this is a driveway. Maybe someone's property. Beautiful view back there of the ocean, but looks like this is a driveway for someone's property, and I'm not sure where that tour takes you, so I think I'm going to do it another time, maybe after the fort, you know, just on the way back. I can do it because I won't be rushed on time then. Wow, look at this incredible viewpoint. Imagine your house is on the cliff like that and you have that beautiful lake view all around us. Again, walking through these narrow streets to get to where we're going, but wow, love this perspective. It's a beautiful walking tour as we go. So many nice views, but definitely can't stop for all of them, at least not right now. Beautiful to see it. I'm gonna keep moving upwards. Pause for a second just to avoid those vehicles because it's a one lane road and it's just tight in general, but Really cool spot. Ah, and we've made it. Uphill, the 30 minute walk up to Charles Fort. Beautiful view there behind us as we finish off the leg here. And check out this beautiful location. Yeah. Okay, heading in now to Charles Fort. Hopefully not too windy out here. We'll check out this beautiful view. I think it's five euro admission. They say last admission one hour before closing. And I'm pretty sure yeah, last admission today is at five. Beautiful spot. Let's make our way inside, figure out where that ticket counter is, and we'll be good. Whew, this is a, it's a lot, indeed. Thanks so much for helping make today an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an amazing day as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of all the positive vibes headed your way. And look for the silver lining in everything you do. Find that positivity in leftovers or whatever else it might be. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it and make sure you check out any of the other exciting parts of the adventure you haven't seen yet. There's a lot more to come. It's all coming your way. Oh yes, Dave in Ireland and maybe more. Until next time, play on. Walking across from the liver. I know they have a cafe. Okay, heading in now and the wind's got us.